Welcome to the Toolbox. I'm Alan Kelly. Today we're going to be discussing the official pre-start inspection procedure for snorkel booms. The checklist can be found in the operator's manual, so let's get to it. Here on the right side of the machine, we'll find the engine and some of the necessary checks like engine oil level, radiator coolant level, radiator, fan belt, as well as all the radiator hoses. Moving back, we'll find the hydraulic pump. We'll want to check for any signs of leakage from any of the hoses or fittings here. We also want to inspect our battery cables, make sure that they're not rubbing and chafed anywhere. We want to follow them up to the battery. Here we want to check our battery fluid level as well as the connections to make sure that they're clean and tight. We also want to check the connections at our uh, emergency power solenoid, our emergency power unit, as well as the fuse and the battery cutoff switch. Continuing our daily pre-start inspection from the left-hand side of the machine, We'll start here at the hydraulic tank and the hydraulic fluid level, make sure that's correct. We also want to check all the hoses and fittings to make sure that there's no signs of leakage here at the main valve, the high pressure filter, the tank, or the hydraulic oil cooler in the rear. If your machine is equipped with a cold weather package, you'll find a heater valve mounted back here against the main frame and you'll want to check those connection points as well for any signs of leakage. Here you'll find the fuel tank as well as the fuel level indicator and we also want to check the fuel tank lines make sure there's no signs of leakage there. Here at the wheels we'll want to check and make sure there's no signs of leakage from the planetary as well as check to see that all the lug bolts are tight there's no signs of any loose bolts. If your machine is equipped with foam filled tires as this is, we want to check the tire surface to make sure there's no abnormal chunks taken out of the tires. If you've got pneumatic tires, we want to check the tire pressure, make sure it's inflated to the correct pressure. Here we want to check our chassis and turntable structure for any signs of damage or cracks in welds, as well as the boom. We want to make sure that the boom is free of any damage any sort of signs of cracks or welds, as well as our power track. Make sure that all the links are in good shape and that the hoses and cables inside are free of any signs of damage. We also want to check our, all of our slide pads, as well as the bolts and the shims to make sure that nothing has come loose. Next stop is the platform. Here at the platform, we want to inspect the rails the gates for any signs of bent rails, broken welds. We also want to inspect the lanyard attachment points as well as the upper control box, the emergency stop switch, and the snorkel guard, as well as inspecting all of the decals at the upper platform as well as decals on the chassis. We'll just make sure that we're not seeing any damage in any safety decals, any placards. That's how you perform a daily pre-start inspection on a snorkel boom lift. Thanks for watching. Check back from time to time for more helpful content.